well, I wouldn't actually read the books the back without stepping out in my comfort zone, which is very important for us entrepreneurs and students in colleges. Um, thinking if you want to be successful in general, you have to learn how to get out of your, of your comfort zone because in life it's uncomfortable. And if you are willing to be comfortable at all times, then life is going to offer you that in the form of distraction, social media, junk food, and um, other uh, unhealthy habit, habits that we have in this world. My journey of comfort zone started from a book which we call Atomic Habits and then uh, that compounded that inspired me to escape my comfort zone and to work towards self-improvement and that is because I have the desire to change. Comfort zone is, I can say, the king because it's the first step to become successful and it comes in from discipline, action, behavior as well. Comfort zone requires a lot of sacrifice and if you don't know how to escape it, then it's going to be in trouble for you in life because it's going to limit you uh, beyond your potential and it doesn't only apply in your work productivity, it also implies in your confidence, in your school, in your health, in, in all aspects of your life. And com being comfortable is not that bad. But if it becomes too much, then it becomes a distraction to your success. It costs you to limit your potential and to regret later in life. So that's why it's, it is important for us to learn that comfort zone will eventually need to a lifetime regret when you get older. And I have to discuss this because I want to help you if you're if I'm depending on your comforts. You have to take actions that lead you to discomfort and eventually leads you up to a positive result. This could be good habits. If, if you know good habits, you start reading. Reading is one of the best ways to escape comfort zone. It has a lot of significant advantages. But one of the advantages of it is in it enables you to be productive. It increases your focus, concentration, and it boosts your productivity in some way. And then if you want to dare, if you don't want to dare to be uncomfortable, you have to dare to be comfortable and un uncomfortable. You just got to do the opposite. And one way to do that is to have a purpose and to have a desire because everything in the foundation before you start in business, before you start uh, working, grinding, before you start investing in your health, before you want to start a relationship with your family to strengthen it, you have to have a thought and then you also have to eventually have the desire and the purpose and why are you actually doing it in the first place. That's why businesses have vision and mission. You see, if you're using social media, if you are constantly distracted, social media tricks your brain to repeat it because it's satisfying. And the only way to break down a bad habit and to dare to be discomfortable about it is being dissatisfied about that habit or that action that is bad so that you won't repeat it and you have to kill those distractions because they serve as a death trap and once you get attached to that screen any platform that makes revenue just for your attention escape those and based on my experience the more I make myself uncomfortable towards good habits the more I was getting comfortable at it and yep yeah, you have to set goals and plans as well. So, for example, you want to read a book at the start, but you're uncomfortable at it. Why not read one page of a book every day? That seems easy. If it's not still easy, you want, why not? The first three the sentences of the book and then repeat that tomorrow. And I'm going to guarantee you that it wouldn't be easy and you want to do it as every day but if you have a sense of direction if you track your goals wholeheartedly if you deeply want to change that's the right direction for you that's going to happen if you want to build habits you have to build it consistently failure is one of the main ingredients of success and if you learn how to embrace it and if you know at the same time how to learn from it, then you would be you would be an unstoppable greatly.
because failure is hurtful failure brings you down and if you learn to embrace that discomfort you eventually become comfortable with that you became numb to those pains and then eventually you'd be able to handle greater pains as well so discomfort is not always bad it actually strengthens you that's why god gave us a lot of challenges and problems so that he can see that we are becoming the man that he desires and in order to grow personally if you want if you're very passionate at self-improvement and self-growth in the near future you have to begin with discomfort and if you embrace those challenges if you welcome those challenges if you welcome discomfort in your life you become disciplined and becoming the act of discipline having the act of discipline to your studies to your school to your homeworks to your job to your career can give you a significant advantage how can you deal with challenges that are too overwhelming and challenging and eventually they're easy because you already experienced that discomfort failure and challenges in the first place discomfort i realize it requires change and change is hard if you want to change your life it's hard if you want to change your grades it will, if it's low it's hard at the start if you want to change your life to become an entrepreneur instead of working from nine to five job in the office you have to change and if if you are willing and passionate for change if you're not scared for change you're willing to adapt and do certain changes even if it's a new environment for you if it's a new challenge if you know that discomfort will help you eventually in the future that's not bad all you have to do is to understand that discomfort is part of life and if you learn how to embrace it if you know how to challenge yourself you will be unstoppable and yeah that's it and if you like this video i hope that you can share your journey in your discomfort that you're struggling and if you know how to solve it comment down below but most importantly strive for progress and a perfection that's fired up